might have hit to us with the questions. Okay. You know, radio disease is a kids for you know station for kids, and by kids we mean you know ages two to fourteen years old. Station call it's a syndicated radio station, so you know how when you watch. Um, uh, it's any kind of sports on TV or the Super Bowl, you know how it's like all across the country. You can see it in Chicago, you can see it in New York. And for Radio Disney, you can hear us around 42 stations all across the country, so 42 cities. You only hear Adam and I locally in Chicago on AM 1300. What is your job like? What's your job like? Well, Adam and I, we have a really cool job because you know you can hear, we can hear ourselves on the radio, which is kind of cool. But we get paid literally to jump around. Sing along to songs. You know how like if you sing along to the radio at home, we get paid to do that with you guys, and we get to give away free stuff. And um, so we get to go around all around Chicago, and um, it's just fun. We get to go to concerts, yeah. and our homework is like literally listening to music, what new video games are out there, um, movies that we like. We have to be like professional kids, kind of. Pretty so much. We, yeah, we get to learn about uh, like. Some of my, my little brothers, they're huge Jonas Brothers fans. And like we got to hang out with them and we got to, you know, meet them and stuff this past weekend at the Jonas Brothers concert and stuff. And like and for me it's like it's business, but it's really fun. Yeah. You know, and so that's what it's all about. I mean Patty's met the Jonas Brothers and tons of high school musical people and stuff. I've only been here for a year and I've met people that kids can only dream of meeting. I think my favorite part of the job is like just going out there with like the music and like dancing and like Giving a kid a t-shirt who, you know, probably has never received something free in, in a while. And the families, you know, have a good time at the different events that we do. I've seen you guys dance and stuff. How uh -huh. long does it take to dance and what are you rehearsing? We were just, <laughs> you missed it when you guys called us. We were rehearsing for another dance right now. Oh. Um, <laughs> Wax on? Wax off, there you go. Well, okay, the dances are usually not that hard because we try to make them easy so the like, kids can follow us. And we're not supposed to be professional dancers, like that's not the thing. And it's difficult, but the hoedown, throwdown, we didn't make it up. And that was the Hannah Montana big dance number from her movie. That one, for me, it took me almost like a week and a half yeah. to figure out these it steps because I don't listen to country music and it was like line dancing. Uh, so that one took a little while and I practiced at home. In here, like we were literally standing where Patty is right there, and we were looking at the screen, at the computer screen, because we, we made forgot. up, we made up a dance like a client, yeah, Great like Wolf Lodge, two months ago, dance. and like we forgot the dance, so we were like watching ourselves on the screen, like oh, that was the dance we were coming up with, but we rehearsed here, and like by the way, we didn't do any of those moves. Oh yeah, we did. <laughs> it was the wrong move. Just so you know, <laughs> but we were, we rehearsed here or or out there at the in the conference room. Oh, we were just talking about that. Oh we have God. a prize closet, okay, downstairs, like in like the vault area, and we just went into it yesterday, and we're like, ooh, it's empty, because it's getting empty in the summer. So for one hour show, the value of it could be a lot. We can give away almost up to $1,000 at an event, or 300 bucks, mm -hmm. you know? So I just packed for Kitty Land. Every Wednesday I'm at Kitty Land from 2 to 4 for Wacky Wildcat Wednesdays. So I'll do like A DVDs and then mm -hmm. T-shirts and frisbee. We get we, we get some really cool prizes sometimes. A lot of our prizes are like our priceless things. So your autograph stuff, you know, an autograph guitar or a prop movies. So those come from our network. It's pretty cool, you know. And so instead of just giving you tickets to like the last row of the concert, we're gonna give you front row tickets. Wouldn't you rather have that? Yeah. You know, we always want to do something. It's like quality over quantity. We we're just talking about mm -hmm. that today. So instead of um, just a Wii game, we're going to give you the Wii console with extra like gaming devices and the game. You know, we always And if you do a dance, if you have fun with us, then we will give you a prize, all right? Everyone I always asks, like, how many of you guys think you're going to win this prize? And like, everyone's like, yeah! And we have so two tickets. Like, yeah, we have two but tickets. But they're front row. Yeah, so. it's like 250 people who think they're going to win that prize. Like, they're just all gung-ho and excited about it. And even if they don't win, we usually have like a consolation prize for the people who aren't there, but they're just, people come out and they just love it, you know, and they're all about winning free tickets. You don't want some free tickets to a concert. Oh, this is really cool. This is years ago, though. We got to give 20 families one a trip to Disney World for a day. So you got to bring, like, four people with you, and we had our own private plane that we flew out of the Gary Airport. So at 4 in the morning, wow. you know, a car picked me up, and we go to the airport at 5 in the morning. We're on the plane. We fly to Disney World. Everyone, you know, gets dropped off, play all day, and then we flew back that night. 
You know what my favorite thing always is, and this happens, I, I probably can count like on just two hands where this has happened, where after an event, like a little kid comes up to me and like tackles me with a hug. You know, that is like the best feeling in the world to where like I'm packing up, you know, putting the microphone away or like taking the speakers down. All of a sudden, like this five year old kid or like this 10 year old kid just runs up to me and just hugs me. And I'm just like, I don't know you, but like that I, it makes me feel so good inside. So I think that feeling, that connection that, you know, to where a kid can hug me and appreciate me, you know, for just for going out there and doing my job and just the power of, you know, of, of what we do, power of Disney. That, I think that right there is, is my favorite thing. And that's yeah. something that, you know, that's, I can't really put into words on how, how that makes me feel, so. Yeah. That's my favorite. One, two, one, two, three. If I were you,